They're motivated to get lots of calcium in the diet of the player. And so off the tip, it's Brooklyn. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. So for Brooklyn now, Booker out there with Brooke Lopez. Then it's Jeremy Lin. And it's Hollis Jefferson in at the three, the small forward. Now, here is Russell. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And slithering inside, D'Lo. That's Russell's length helping him convert against pressure. Here's Bogdanovich. They set the screen. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Well, for me, when you look at Bogdanovich, I think it's the skill level that stands out. He can handle it. He drives with either hand. He can shoot it off the dribble. I think he's got a lot in his book bag offensively. The first free throw is good. And Boyan, not the most athletic, but he's got good size on the wing. And as they say, you can never have enough shooters. And I think his ability to create his own shot is key as well, guys. Um, Bogdanovich is a guy who can fit right into a league that uh, has a lot of spot-up shooters. He's a guy that also can create something out of nothing, which makes him even more valuable. And you know, with the Nets and their move, they are looking to build a lasting identity, to brand themselves a certain way. And there's so much history with this franchise to draw from, but it really is the start of a new era with the team. Now here's Ingram. He's coming off a 25-point game against the Timberwolves in Minneapolis. Just four to shoot. Pulls from the top of the key. Misses off the right iron. On defense, the Lakers coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. And I know that's a game they'd like to forget. Sort of a tough day for them all the way around. I don't see any reason they won't be able to rebound from it quickly, though. Quite honestly, I think this is a resilient squad, and they'll bounce back quickly. And the Lakers with possession here, following the bucket by the Nets. And he uses the glass on the layup. The Prophets got his first points of the night. And for the Nets, it's been a bit of a rough start with their time in Brooklyn. Some playoff appearances off the bat, but now they are in a rebuild. Well, I think they're approaching this rebuild in the right frame of mind, Kevin and Greg. I mean, viewing it as a chance to really change the culture of the team and build something from the ground up with a solid foundation might take some time. But I think if they do it right, the city is eager to uh, shower the Nets with a lot of love. And Brooklyn has possession after D'Angelo Russell's miss. Lopez a screen. In the corner, Hollis Jefferson. Kicks to Lopez. The jump hook. And it falls over the rim and in. Just like clockwork, Lopez doing damage inside. The Lakers trail. Here's the profit. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. Well, I think it's got to serve notice to the defense that it's going to take a much stronger effort than that to contain this guy today. They've got to bring more force if they're going to try to slow him down. Here's Silk. There's the pick to the paint. Here's Ingram. Lopez with the block. You can see Lopez tracking that shot the whole way. Nice awareness from him and a terrific rejection as well. Out of bounds. Next ball as Brooklyn keeps possession. And here we can now take a look at how the ratio was between the threes and the twos last season for the Lakers. And they love to spread the floor with shooting. A lot of three-point attempts. And that's been the league-wide direction. And this group has been no exception. Lopez a screen in a wide open look for Lynn. And again, it's Brooklyn converting. Really, it's a thing of beauty to watch Hollis Jefferson move the ball like that. I mean, he's a team-oriented guy who looks to make the pass as much as possible. Here's Hassel. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. 
Lopez outside. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Lynn kicks to Booker. And it's Ingram with the rebound. Lakers trail by four. Now the feed to Russell. Pass to Hassel. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Lynn against Russell. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Russell's got his second bucket of the game to go. Excellent size and feel for the game. D'Angelo really just scratching the surface of his potential. Outside, Lynn feeds it to Bogdanovich. Back to Lynn. Five to shoot. Launches a three. But they recover it. Lopez a screen. Here's Bogdanovich. 11 points for him in that last game against the Clippers. Yeah, but he was also a force on the defensive side. Two block shots and also altered a ton of shots. Now, here is Russell. Trailing by two. To the inside, Hassel. That ties it up. Terrific imagination, creativity. Russell already one of the league's more intriguing playmakers. Lynn kicks to Booker. Lynn against Russell. A nice shot by Lynn. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Here's Silk. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Outside, Russell. No good that time. Some solid defense there from Lynn. And stolen by Russell. To the paint. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Booker. Here's Hollis Jefferson. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Clippers in Los Angeles. Yeah, but I also thought the rebounding was impressive. He got some huge boards in that game. Knocked loose. The Prophet passes to Ingram. And it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Timeout, timeout. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Starts. Now at the moment here, let's take a look at our rookie leaderboard and who's putting up the most points per game. Look at the Profit, second in the league, having an excellent season. And of course, easy breezy. Same can be said about him. Talk about hitting the ground running. These two have made an immediate impact with their scoring. Making it rain for sure. Surprising to see them rack up high digits so early in their career. Well, you just got to tip your hat to them. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. Here's Hollis Jefferson. He puts up decent numbers on a nightly basis, averaging about 10 points a game. Back to Lopez. Lock at six. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. You know, he might not be the fastest or the most explosive guy, but I, I really like the soft hands and the excellent footwork of Lopez because those two things you can't teach really. That's good from Brooke Lopez. Lopez can put on a low post clinic, can he guys? Not many big men with that kind of size and savvy to slow him down. And I would even add, guys, not just the size and savvy, but the skill. I mean, this guy knows exactly what he's doing and has a tremendous shooting touch. And that's what makes him so potent as a um, back-to-the-basket and face-up center. Low three throws, good from Lopez. Nice-looking set shot for Lopez. He can stretch the floor just about to the three-point line. Here's Collins. He's coming off a 13-point game against Minnesota. And don't forget about his work on the glass. I mean, he contributed in a number of ways. 
Now here's Vasquez. Pass to Lopez. Screen by Stoa. Lopez, no luck. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Inside, got a piece of it. Here's Ohio, and the Lakers get it back. Lakers working the ball around now. Here's the profit. Lopez covering. The basket good, counts and good. one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Lakers shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. And their success rate on the season, right around 77%. You know, the numbers from the line, guys, are close to where they were last year. But just a tad worse, so not too bad. Here's Bogdanovich, and he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. Yeah, great vision from Vasquez. I mean, he's got the ability to spot the open man as well as anybody. It's really uh, uncanny. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there, Greg. Two shots. He's off on the first. And you go back over the great players the Nets have had. Dr. J comes to mind as perhaps the greatest. But Jason Kidd and others can be mentioned as well. Well, you know, Kidd and Dr. J clearly are up there. But neither played their best years with the Nets, despite Kidd leading that team to back-to-back -to -back NBA Finals appearances. You would have to acknowledge Vince Carter um, when he was here as he helped them get to a pair of finals. I mean, he was part of those teams. Buck Williams, I think, probably needs to be on that list, a contemporary of mine who had a, an outstanding career with the Nets. So I think all those guys are worthy of being singled out as outstanding Nets. Here's Kilpatrick. He's usually able to provide some lift to his team, averaging six points a game. Here's Collins. Los Angeles with another miss. A, a little ambitious on that possession, trying to hit a shot in the face of that defensive pressure. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agendas. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. And here is Los Angeles now, following the bucket by the Nets. Ohio on the pass to Collins. The three. The shot missing. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. And, and nothing went well offensively on this night for them. They were just completely disjointed. Yeah, you could call it the three Ds. Disjointed, disorganized, discombobulated. Or whatever else you wanted to use to describe that would be appropriate. And the Lakers with possession here. After the basket by Brooklyn. Here's Redding, the pass to Ohio. Here's the screen. Pass to the Prophet. He dishes it to Collins. From deep three-point range, rebounded by the Nets. And this is the first season matchup for them against the Lakers team. Yeah, and a pair of losses for them in their meetings last season. And the cold hard truth about it, they just had a hard time beating anybody last year. You know, Greg, those were games where you thought they could get a win. But now they need to forget about it. It's in the past, let it go, and they've got to focus on the present and try to make a better run of it this time. Here's Collins. After the basket by Brooklyn. Here's Ohio. Here's the profit. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And a chance here to look at the numbers for the profit. Averaging about 18 points per, 13 rebounds, and almost two and a half steals. And just look at those scoring totals. He's been doing what he does best, putting points on the board. Absolutely. I mean, he has those real natural scoring instincts. The ability to find creases in the defense. Two just shots. Um, fantastic.
And he makes the first. And what a game for the Prophet. He's already got nine points and two steals as well. Early on already making a huge difference for him. And you know what, guys? The start he's had really allows his teammates to kind of just ease into the flow of the game. Now you don't have to press. And the Nets making a change here. Booker's checked in. He hits both from the strike. Nets leading by four. One fifty-one left to play here in the first. From deep. And it's Levert missing. Los Angeles has gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. They set the pick. Here's Collins. Buries it from three-point range. Collins has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting 56% in this first quarter. An outstanding start for this offense. We've got 113 left here in the first quarter. Just five to shoot. The offensive rebound. Bogdanovich dishes to Booker. Now here's Vasquez. Pass to Levert. There's the three. The shot, no good. And the Lakers take it the other way. Passes it to Ohio. Here's the Prophet, guarded by Vasquez. The Prophet got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. They're in the position they're in right now, thanks in no small part to the show that he's putting on in this period. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Here's the dish to Collins. The pass to the Prophet. Here's Redding. Levert grabs the miss. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. Fourteen feet away. And it is good at the buzzer. Wow. So far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. And looking at what we've seen so far from the Nets, what do you guys think? Just almost an intimidating factor when you're able to go out and consistently come up with the block shots like they have defensively. Well, what happens is shooters begin to start looking for the shot blockers, and it does intimidate them. We've got D'Angelo Russell. Ingram is out there with the captain, then it's Mayo, and it's on a kid's and at the small forward position. That's the Laker five. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, we know Brooke Lopez is a little vertically challenged, but he's still effective inside with an array of shots. A little push shot came because he said, I'm not the quickest guy in the world, so I want to get space and get it up quick. But they have no chance of contesting it. And his go-to move is that righty hook coming across the middle. Kevin? And D.A., you can't block it. You just can't let him get to that left shoulder. And really, guys, I can't put a ceiling on Ingram. I mean, with his length and his shooting stroke and work ethic, this is a guy who I think has the potential to be truly great. You know, the Lakers had never missed the playoffs in three consecutive seasons in I'll franchise in. history shots. until Two last shots. season. Boy, this is a franchise that's clearly unaccustomed to losing basketball games. No good on the free throw. And the last time the Lakers had missed the playoffs in two consecutive seasons was 1976. Well, up to 2013, the Lakers had only missed the playoffs five times total in the 65 years of the team's history. 
Um, now it's three seasons in a row for a franchise with so much very justified pride. It's got to be tough to handle and swallow. And he's good on the second. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Vasquez with it. Now guarded by Ingram. Now Vasquez. He kicks to Scola. Shoots a fader. Doesn't go that time. Excellent D there for Mayo. Here's Ingram. Not enough on that one as it misses. Ill-advised shot there. Yeah, exactly. That was lower than low percentage. Russell against Lynn. The Nets working the ball around now. Back to Scola. Tries from 10. And that one drops for him. And the Nets lead by two. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. Outside, Russell. He feeds it to Ingram. Fires the three. And again, no good by the Lakers. For Brooklyn, they've gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Screen by Scoa. Outside, Lynn dishes it to Lopez. Outside, Lynn. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. And a chance here to take a look at the shooting chart. Well, you have to think that he is going to look to go to the rim a little more often going forward because the three ball just hasn't been there. Uh, sometimes it seems he's not getting his feet set or, or rushing his shooting motion, but either way, it just ain't falling. Lakers have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Outside, Russell. There's a screen. Kicks it to Ingram. Let's it go from deep. Hassel. Rebound by Vasquez. The Nets with the lead. The feed to Lopez. Scola left side. Brooklyn needs to get off a shot here. And it's Brook Lopez with the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Booker, he's checked in for the Nets. LA's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Outside, Russell. Here's Ingram. No good on the shot. Excellent D there for Scola. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Vasquez kicks to Scola. Scola sets a screen for Lynn. Screen by Scola. He took good advantage of that screen. Vasquez has got seven points in the game. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They've got to get more intense. Here's Russell, and it's blocked. Feeds it to Vasquez. Outside, Scola. Up top, Lynn. Lends it go with a three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. The captain's got four rebounds now tonight. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they could stretch this lead out. Two shots. After their move wow. to Brooklyn, the Nets went Two. with an all-in approach. Sold their future to try and put a title team together. Came up well short. Now they're left to rebuild. Now the Nets have scrapped that approach, it seems, and it couldn't come at a better time. Learned some lessons from trying to sell their picks and future for a quick playoff run. Um, new management and a new coach have said they are committed to doing things the right way, even if it is slower. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter, but right now he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Silks checked in for O.J. Mayo.
That one misses. And this kind of free throw shooting just leaves a coach shaking his head. I mean, they have been awful from the line this quarter. Vasquez kicks to Scola. And Lynn now out the key. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. Lynn's got his third bucket of the night. They set the pick. Russell passes to Cobb. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. That's a shot he shouldn't be afraid to take more often. Brooklyn leading by five. And here's Vasquez. He's got seven. Outside Scola. Here's Hollis Jefferson. Back to Scola. Baseline J on the way. No good that time. Lakers have gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. Silk passes to Russell. Right wing. To the middle. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Now just a three-point Nets lead. And this is what you get with a bigger guard. D'Angelo able to finish through contact. Here's the screen. Lynn with it. His last outing, he had eight points. And it's Scola in the corner. Offensive rebound. Booker. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. The Nets have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. And, and when you got a team percentage of about 81%, uh, you're going to be one of the elites in this league. Really, guys, it's just come together for them at the charity stripe this season. I mean, the confidence is there, and so, too, are the results. The first free throw is good. And when the Nets hired Kenny Atkinson as their coach, it signaled a bit of a culture change. Um, no more going for that big-name coach to make a splash, as they had done in the past. Um, went out and got a lead assistant from an organization that had found consistent success. Both free throws good from Booker. And there is definitely a culture change right now underway in Brooklyn. Atkinson fits right in with what they're trying to accomplish on that front with his work ethic. Yeah, I don't know Kenny Atkinson, but everybody who does will tell you that he's a tireless worker as a coach. Uh, puts in a lot of hours and studies film as much as he can. He's really done his part in the grind of the NBA world to get his chance to be a head coach. The fact that nothing was easy on his journey should serve him well. Both teams deciding to change it up. Nets leading by three. Outside, Lynn. Here's the teardrop. A second chance effort, and he sinks the layup. Lynn's got eight points. And Lynn is just fearless, always looking to get as close to the bucket as he can. Pass to Hassel. Here's Silk. Pulls up on the elbow. Not going to go that time. Brooklyn's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. And it's Levert missing. Lakers trail by five. Down low. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. They get Luis Scola. And, you know, you think about the Lakers fan base of 16 million. This team is a national phenomenon. They're one of the most popular teams in the country in any sport. Estimated to be the second most valuable franchise in the league after the New York Knicks. And the first one at the line is good. And even with the Lakers struggling to win games, you can bet whenever a big-name free agent hits the market, Lakers can almost always get a meeting. Yeah, typically they're going to be in that discussion. 
Um, and they keep their checkbook open just for that reason. I mean, the lure of the big market, the bright lights of L.A., endorsement opportunities, uh, it all holds a certain allure um, in this day and age. Good on both. Nets leading by three. It's stolen. Pass break. The Lakers. Ohio in the pass to Collins. Ohio defended by Lynn to the wing on the left. The Lakers working the ball around now. Five to shoot. Here's Collins. And the Lakers with another miss. It's a close game here in Los Angeles. Here's Bogdanovich. No good off the back of the rim. And not the best shot right there with a good defender draped all over you. I agree with you. I mean, not the shot they were hoping for, but he can really cause problems with his defense. Now here's Lynn. He's got eight. Taken away. And out of bounds is Brooklyn gains possession. And a quick check now. The NBA's top rebounders. Look at the profit. Third in rebounding. And what a physical presence inside. And, of course, the captain. Two behind him. Guys, we're lucky to get to watch two of the league's most outstanding rebounders on the same court here today. Now here's Lynn. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Ohio defended by Lynn. Dolman. And you can count it. He'll go to the Good. line with a chance Good. to make it three. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. With the Nets moving to New York, there is pressure to win. All New York teams have that due to the size of the city. Yeah, playing in a big city is a double-edged sword. I mean, it can be a blessing and curse. In years past, it would have been in the best interest of the Nets to take things slowly. But being in the Big Apple, there was added pressure to try to win quickly, and that produced some hasty decisions. And you also have to have a certain type of player who has the mindset to be able to handle that constant, high-level, bright light scrutiny that's part of the media in New York. Lakers trail by three. To the inside, the Prophet. A second chance effort, he lays it in. Collins has got five now. Just lazy defense on the glass there. Well, nobody boxed out. Nobody put a body on anybody else. Things like that not only drive the coach crazy, that stuff gets under my skin. Now here's Lynn. He's got eight. Shot clock at five. Here's LeVert. No good with the triple. Los Angeles has gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Passes it to Ohio. Inside, here's the profit. And it goes as the official calls the, the foul. Field. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Three to one. No clue how he got that one to fall. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through, Greg. I mean, he had to really power that one up and in. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Lakers. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is working hard on the offensive glass. They've had a number of putbacks. And that one misses. And in the first quarter, he, he was consistently getting to the line and really causing headaches for the D. Haven't seen that same type of consistency here in the second. Here's Bogdanovich. Ohio defended by Lynn. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Here's Lynn. And again, no good by Brooklyn. The Lakers in the lead. The pass to the Prophet. 
a minute 42 left here in the second, and it's good. Two points. Five points in the game. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Greg, the play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. Now here's Lynn. He's got eight. Ohio defended by Lynn. Ohio the pass to the Prophet. Here's Collins, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. The Nets shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And the first one drops. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. And so he hits both. 105 left now here in the second. Ohio defended by Lynn. There's the screen. The three. Lavert grabs the miss. Lavert's got his third rebound on the night. He dishes it to Lynn. Clearly a two for one situation here, guys. Oh, without without question, Greg. I mean, the wise move would be to get themselves a quick shot so they have an opportunity to get that two for one. Nets trail by three. Here's Bogdanovich, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Nets will retain possession. Kilpatrick passes to Booker. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Pass to Bogdanovich. Down to five on the shot clock. Lynn dishes to Bogdanovich. The layup missed. You can see he just rushed that a little bit. Lost the focus, I think. They set the pick. Here's Collins. And again, the Lakers no good. I think he was surprised by how much space he had there and just rushed the shot a little bit. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Los Angeles on top, up three. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. The game was always within a fairly narrow margin, with their largest deficit of the period being six. If you look at the second quarter scoring, they had a small edge. They really hung tough as we got close to halftime. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Efficiency, you know, I, I think that's big. That's a key to success. You gotta protect the basketball. You can't make those risky passes that lead to highlight film dunks. So I thought it was a great job. And over to Shaq, what do you think about Brooklyn? Well, the reserves came in and played like starters. Gave them some big points off the bench. It would be no surprise to see them get more minutes in the second half. They definitely deserve it. Though sometimes when you get more minutes, you get exposed. We shall see. Here is Russell. Checking out the group for Kenny Atkinson to start the second half. Booker out there with Hollis Jefferson. Then it's Brooke Lopez. Then it's Jeremy Lin. And it's Bogdanovich in at the two. Lin's shot is off. Los Angeles leading by three. Ingram passes to the Prophet. Six attempts for him at the line. He's made four. At the line for two. And that one misses. And as many times as we've seen him at the free throw line tonight, I think by now we know what's going to happen.
And the second free throw, good. Nets trail by four. Outside, Lynn. Lopez sets a screen for Lynn. There's the dish to Booker. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. We take a second here to take a look at the shot chart. What a display we've seen from them so far. Every half open look they've gotten, they've knocked down and showed no signs of letting up. Right now, they are in the driver's seat. As long as they can keep their rhythm on offense, two shots. they'll just steamroll this team the rest of the way. The first free throw is good. Both free throws good from Booker. Here's Silk. Russell a screen on Lynn. Silk passes to Russell. Down low. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. And how about a look now at the first-year block leaders in the NBA. Here are the top rookie intimidators. Look at the Prophet, a fierce inside defender. Tops in the NBA in blocks. And, of course, Brandon Ingram. Uh, and among first-year players, these two are as intimidating a pair of shot blockers as you're going to see. Yeah, both of them do a tremendous job of defending at the point of attack, not letting guys muscle them out of position. Forces to be reckoned with for sure. He misses the free throw. Luis Scola, he's checked in for Lopez. Good on the second free throw. Nets trail by three. Lynn kicks to Scola. They set the pick, and D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. And Booker kicks to Lynn. Five on the clock. Shot from 12. It's blocked. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. You know, sometimes the intensity of the game can lead to brain neutral plays like that, guys. Lakers leading by three. Now, here is Russell. He's got six. Count that one. Russell's got eight. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. And stolen by Russell. Passes it to the Prophet. There's the triple. Rebound, Brooklyn. Hollis Jefferson's got his third rebound tonight. You know, Kevin, D'Angelo Russell came into a really crowded backcourt rotation his rookie season and the coaching staff kept him on a fairly tight leash you get the sense now he'll be unleashed and that'll give him a chance to realize his great potential here's the profit back to russell clock at six he kicks it to ingram Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got his fourth assist in this one. 
And there's always a tricky balance for young players like D'Angelo Russell. Playing is the best way for him to develop, but you want to hold them accountable and make them earn their minutes. Yeah, and I think Russell ended up, Kevin, earning good minutes, almost 30 a game, actually, and I think he did better in his rookie season than he was really given credit for. You look at his numbers and the body of that rookie season, it was pretty solid. In the end, paying his dues will only make him hungrier to prove that he belongs. Off target there, that would have pushed the lead to double digits. And Bogdanovich kicks to Lynn. To the paint, here's Skola. And the layup's good off the glass. Skola's got his second basket of the game. That one goes down, but offensively, it's one of four to start the third quarter. There's the pick. Russell kicks to Ingram. Tries from 10. Hollis Jefferson with the rebound. Hollis Jefferson's got four rebounds in this game. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. Left side, Lynn. Rebounded by the Lakers. The captain's got eight rebounds in this game. Well, that's a lot of bricks by them early in the second. Only one make on five tries so far in the second half. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. O.J. Mayo has checked in for Silk. And the Nets making a change here as well. Vasquez comes in. Nets trail by seven. He feeds it to Bogdanovich. To the inside. Ingram with the steal. Bucket is good. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Los Angeles. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. Yeah, and another thing, they, they've created a lot of turnovers, but they've also been able to convert when they've gotten down the transition. They recover it. Here we are in the November. Shot, Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. Take a look at the Warriors. They like where they stand right now, perched in that topmost position. And, of course, the Lakers. They're five spots away. And when I look at the Lakers, they've looked very solid here to start the season. What's surprised me the most is just uh, how much confidence this group is playing with. Yeah, that's exactly right, Greg. I mean, that mental toughness bodes well, very well, for them once we get later into the season. The first one falls. Both free throws good from Booker. Check out the game for Booker. He has nine rebounds, and also those active hands of his have led to a pair of steals. And he can just change a game with his defense, and he's thrown off their rhythm completely the last several possessions. And that one's good, Russell. And there isn't a lot that they're doing well right now defensively. They just seem to be disconnected defensively in the second. And it's out of bounds, last touch by Russell. Let's get a glimpse at how the Lakers are doing right now here early in the season yet in the NBA stats. First in steals, first in fewest turnovers a game. And they've also made their opponents pay for any mistakes. I mean, they've got the most points off turnovers in the league. And you mentioned their steals. I mean, it's great defensive anticipation that has them at the top of the rankings. They've been tremendous at reading the offense and getting into those passing lanes. Out of bounds, next ball as Brooklyn keeps possession. And a quick review, looking at some numbers here for Russell. He's putting up about 17 points, seven assists, and three rebounds. And he has been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands out about these recent performances. Hey, every train needs a conductor, man. He unifies his teammates, sets the tempo, and they make some sweet, sweet music. Here's Bogdanovich, guarded by Mayo. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Unfazed by the defense, Bogdanovich with the quick trigger. Lakers leading by seven. Outside Mayo. Back to Russell. And he converts the layup. Russell's got the lead up to nine now for the Lakers. 
and they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg, they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Vasquez can't get it to go. Lakers have gone 6-9 from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Mayo dishing to Ingram. Right side, Russell. Shot clock at 6. From 13. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Nets trail by 9. Bogdanovich passes to Vasquez. Dishes it to Bogdanovich. Screen by Skoa. Here's Bogdanovich. Six points for him. And Booker kicks to Bogdanovich. Over in the corner to Vasquez. Off target from three-point range. Lakers leading by nine. It's stolen by Vasquez. The pass to Hollis Jefferson. From 13. Nice D from Russell. Los Angeles has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Pass to the prop. Eight feet away. Makes a big height. House and goes in. The Prophets got four this quarter. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches. He used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. <laughs> <laughs> Nets trail by 11. Vasquez passes to Levert. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. Levert's got 11. The Lakers have gone 7 of 11, a lucky field goal percentage here in the third. Kicks it to Collins. There's a good screen. And there's the feed to Ingram. To the middle, Dolman. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. He's got seven. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Vasquez with it. Now guarded by Ingram. Now here's Vasquez. Defense is right there on the clock shoots Crane for two points gotta give Gravis Vasquez his due now I mean come on he's just an intelligent guy who makes and takes high percentage jump the Lakers with the ball feeds to Collins goes up on the wing and another basket for the Lakers perfect screen there set him up with a terrific look yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Here's Levert. He's got 11. Here's Lopez. That one doesn't go. And the Lakers going the other way now. Ohio guarded by Vasquez. Pass to Ingram. Shoots the three. The Lakers rebound. Ohio, the pass to Mayo. They set the pick. Ingram wide open. And again, it's the Lakers. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Vasquez kicks to Scola. Lopez outside. Nets passing it around. Screen by Scoa. Vasquez can't get it to go. He's not exactly striping him from deep. He had one three ball in the first half. Still bageled in the second. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Here's Kilpatrick. Brandon Ingram picking up that last bucket. Inside, it's tipped. Now Mayo, looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. Here's Kilpatrick. 
He dishes it to Vasquez. Three-pointer. That one, no good. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Collins. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. That's right. Five of their last six makes were on the interior. They've established their inside presence. One shot. One shot. Nets trail by 18. Lopez a screen. Vasquez dishes to Lopez. Right wing. They need this one. And it's Lavert missing. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. Pass to Ohio. Now the dish to Ingram. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him 5 for 12 so far. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Screen by Scoa. Now here's Vasquez. He's guarded closely. And there's Scola on the assist by Vasquez. Scola's got six. And he just big boyed him right there. The height advantage he's got down low, really difficult for them to defend. Here's Ingram. Right through the D for the layup. And the Lakers lead by 20. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations, Greg, have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. And it's Lavert missing. L.A.'s gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Collins. Brooklyn with the rebound. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Here's Kilpatrick. Rebound the Lakers. LaProvitz got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. They set the pick. Here's Ingram. No good on the buzzer beater. Trail by 20. Russell is out there with Silk. Then there's the captain. Then it's the Prophet. That's the Laker five. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. Los Angeles leading by 19. Dishes it to Russell. 13 feet away. And that one comes up a bit short. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting at 36% on the night. They've got to step it up offensively. To the right side. Here's Lopez. That one's good from the corner. Lopez is really dangerous as a shooter if you give him space to catch and then shoot. Here's Redding. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Back to Russell. The pass to Hess. 
Shot clock at six. Russell against Stola. He gets that one. And the Lakers lead by 19. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Here's Bogdanovich. That's a foul called on the Prophet. That's foul number two for him. And Brooklyn making a change here. Booker's checked in. Bogdanovich passes to Hollis Jefferson. They get it back. And there's the whistle, fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. And given how big and powerful Hollis Jefferson is, not surprising to see him utilize that strength to draw fouls inside. Well, you talk about a body built for the game of basketball. Hollis Jefferson is six foot seven, with a 7'2 wingspan. Wow. Yeah, that's a 38-inch vertical jump, guys, so the physical tools are there. What I like is the fact that you don't have to rev him up. His motor is always turned on, and he's able to put that athleticism and explosiveness to use at both ends of the floor in a positive way. And that one goes in, too, from the line that time. Boy, he's like mortar when you look at Rondé Hollis Jefferson. He's a guy that holds things together, plays with great energy and effort, and that's contagious and also beneficial for a team. Now, here is Russell. Six on the shot clock. Let's it go from 14. That one off the back iron and out. Nets trail by 17. Booker is screen on Russell. Lynn kicks to Lopez. Lopez a screen. Bogdanovich dishes to Lynn. On the wing, Booker. Three-pointer. The basket good off the assist from Lynn. And that's a double-double for him now. 11 points and 10 rebounds. Pass to Russell. The 10-footer. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Russell's got four points this quarter. And this young gun is fearless. Have to do more than just get a hand in Russell's face because he can make shots against good defense. Lopez, no luck. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they came away empty, but they got the look they wanted. And really, I, I've enjoyed, I like the movement and communication there. Now, here is Russell following the miss by Brooke Lopez. That's tipped. Here's Cobb. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. But, boy, that was a nice job. No slowing him down. Just incredible numbers for Still. Nine points. And he has Sorry. one steal to his credit as well. And Clark, he's just done a great job defensively. That one steal doesn't tell the whole story. Nets trail by 19. Outside, Lynn. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. Lopez passes to Lynn. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. And Lynn plays with a real edge. Uh, when he's driving inside, he looks determined to beat everyone to the basket. Pass to Hassel for three. Krills the three-pointer. And he's now got the double-double. 11 points and 10 rebounds. Nets have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Lynn the pass to Hollis Jefferson. The basket good off the assist from Lynn. Hollis Jefferson's got four this quarter. And really, Lynn has a terrific feel for this offense. Just seems to know whenever one of his guys is open. 
And out of bounds is Brooklyn gains possession. A temporary lapse of focus from him on that turnover. It's embarrassing, but on occasion it does happen. Los Angeles making a switch here. Collins is checked in. Nets trail by 18. Outside, Lynn. On the wing, Booker. All sorts of time. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. The Prophets got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, as they're looking to battle back, that's one of the key elements. You got to rebound. Here's Bogdanovich. Takes a three. Second shot opportunity. And Booker with the layup. Booker's got nine points now in just the second half. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy putback. They set the screen. Kicks it to Russell. And that one goes long. Nets trail by 16. Here's Bogdanovich. A putback. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. One of the things you love about Hollis Jefferson is his activity. I mean, he impacts the game really without having plays called for him. Over to the wing. Lynn against Russell. To the inside. Looks good. Is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. And the interior D is really starting to be exposed here. How many layups have they gotten today? I do not have a total on that, partner, but it seems to be too many if I were to count. Uh, the only number you really need to look at, though, is the scoreboard, and that That's gives you good. all the info you need. They're finding lanes to the Two hoop one. now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Taken with the 31st pick of the 2011 draft, Boyan Bogdanovic, sharpshooter out of Croatia. Not to be confused with Bogdan Bogdanovic, who was drafted by the Suns in 2014. Well, you just confused me, Kevin, uh, because I'm mixed up now. But Boyan is bigger at 6'8", 220, and more of a small forward. So I'm going to just leave it at that before I confuse our game players. Yeah, that, that's got them over the limit with a lot of time still left. They're going to have to tone it down or they may end up giving up a lot of free throws here. Shooting two. And he makes the first. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Hollis Jefferson, good. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Lakers leading by 10. Passes to Cobb. Here's the profit. Outside, Russell. Stolen by Jeremy Lin. Oh, and a fast break for the Nets. Here's Bogdanovich. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. And he has started to turn it on now after that slow start. Here's Silk. No good, unable to end this run. N not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. And Bogdanovich kicks to Lynn. Booker is screen on Russell. Booker outside. Bogdanovich dishes to Lopez. He can't get it to go. So the Lakers will take it the other way. They led the game at one point by 20. Russell kicks to Collins. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Unloads from 13. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. And that's 18 points for D'Angelo Russell. Nets trail by 9. They set the pick. Outside, Lynn, the 17-footer. Collins grabs the miss. 
Collins has got rebound number five here tonight. The pass to Hess. Goes up the baseline. Lopez grabs the board. Not really sure what he was thinking about on that shot. That is not high IQ basketball. Not at all. I mean, he shouldn't even have considered taking that shot. Just a poor, poor choice there. And there's a whistle. That goes on Jeremy Lin. That'll be his second foul of the game. Los Angeles leading by nine. Pass to Cobb. Back to Russell. Six to shoot. Brooklyn with the rebound. Hollis Jefferson's got eight rebounds in this game. Right side, Lynn, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Russell. Well, close to picking that one off. Still a nice play to make sure that pass didn't reach its target. Luis Scola, he's checked in for the Nets. Lopez a screen. Shot off the screen. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Hollis Jefferson's got 10 points in the quarter. How about raising his game here in the fourth quarter? Missing just one of his five attempts so far. Pass to Hassel from the arc. Rebound, Brooklyn. Lopez has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Knocks it loose. Here's Cobb. That's another one for him, his fifth in just seven shots. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Scola, a screen on Russell. Lopez, a screen to the left wing. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Looking at the game for Lopez, eight rebounds and a block. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Ingram, he's checked in for the Lakers. That one misses. Lakers leading by eight. And stolen by Scola. Fast break. Here we go. The feet to Bogdanovich. Lynn kicks to Lopez. Rebounded by the Lakers. They led the game at one point by 20. Pass to Cobb. Here's the profit. Guarded by Scola. Feeds to Russell. Shot clock at five. Down low. A profit. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Lopez. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Booker, he's checked in for Lopez. And the first one drops. And he makes both free throws. And that's trail by 10. And here is Lynn. Outside Scola. He kicks it to Booker. 
153 left in the fourth quarter. Offensive rebound. And that one drops. The Providence got 10 points in just the second half. He does not play the score. I mean, he's going to continue to work his tail off on the glass and make plays just like that. And plays like that have really taken the energy out of those defenders. I mean, you can bet he's going to continue to keep pushing in that area. Boy, what a slick job of passing from Jeremy Lin on that one. Lakers leading by 10. Russell with it. He feeds it to Ingram. Looking to get it going. Rebound, Brooklyn. Hollis Jefferson's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And stolen by Russell. And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for Los Angeles. Their inside game was what secured them the win tonight. They had their way in the paint. And those are all high percentage shots. But the defense couldn't stop them from getting down low. And now, for the year, this is going to take them to seven wins. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. Yeah, and Greg, when it is just a two-game season series, the team winning game one has that slight mental edge going into the second meeting, knowing they've already solved their opponent one time and only have to do it one more time. And while it's a team game, you can't win without guys showing up. And that was the case tonight for the Prophet. You have to focus on the steals he came up with. They were huge factors in the end result. Now, here is Russell. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. The Prophet, a man on a mission. He came out torching the Nets and just never cooled down. Obviously, his monster first quarter had a big impact on tonight's outcome. And Shaq, I can tell you want to say something. Your comments? Well, I, had, I saw the look in his eye, Ernie. The look was, I don't care what the rest of you do. I'm not letting us down. Move. Give me the ball. I'm going to deliver. I got a great attitude. About to give you a great performance. Follow me. His shooting percentage was in the high 50s tonight. That's how you know when you're being efficient with your shot selection. You want to try to value every possession, and he did that tonight. A real difference maker. 